This is really the start of fun. The turbo model gives you the signature lighting, which is updated and adaptive, the 20 inch wheel upgrade, standard leather interior, including terracotta, the extra accents in the rear and up front, the zoom zoom turbo power under the hood. What's up everybody, I'm Jonathan Sewell Sales at Mitchell Mazda on the Boulevard in Enterprise, Alabama. And you see behind me a beautiful CX-50 turbo model the start of fun and we're going to go inside we're going to go outside we're going to go all the way around so that we can break down all the features of this vehicle so that you can choose if this is the right one for you so let's jump in more 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 car vids more more Getting started up front, of course, on this turbo model, we have some different accents up front and in the rear. Uh, of course, behind this plastic is your radar sensor. So that is designed to uh, you know, be wet, muddy, grassy, dusty, whatever it is, but still function. Uh, and so we have a traditional emblem instead of the uh, shielded one on all other vehicles because that sensor is down here. Also, the ground clearance makes it a better visibility or at least the radar coming off for pedestrians and other vehicles a little uh, to reach up a little higher. This also has your rugged look with your vents right here, your big grill, of course, your big gloss black uh, signature wing there. And this comes with upgraded LED headlights. So you have the little halos there or partial, partial halos. And these are adaptive. So as you go up and down the road and turn, the lights turn with the steering wheel. Also underneath there, you have your LED strips, which are your blinkers. And um, so those uh, light up and flash as you're going up and down the road, uh, which attracts a lot of attention but also uh, they're bright enough, even though they're small and thin, they would show through uh, any extra dirt, mud, et cetera, that you're carrying. Uh, these are functional vents that come back here to uh, reach a little bit of cooling for the brakes perhaps, or some of that airflow on these nice 20 inch wheels. And these are the standard turbo wheels uh, that you see on um, all but the Meridian. And of course, big vented disc brakes there for better stopping power. Big cladding here for protection uh, on the trails and off-road so it doesn't scratch or chip any other wheel cladding. Uh, it's getting dark and the gnats are coming out with a vengeance. As we come around, of course, you have the standard on the CX-50, the roof rails, as well as your little chrome accents right here, which a lot of you have blacked those out and it looks really good. Of course, it matches these chrome emblems here, and here's that rear fascia design for the turbo. Uh, this one, of course, has a rear backup camera, power lift gate, turbo badge there. And this one has no other accessories uh, except for the wind chill um, paint. So this is, with the exception of that paint ad, the uh, most basic turbo that you can get. And of course, these fold down. You have a 60-40 split. Underneath here, you have your uh, full height spare and your tire tools are back there as well. And uh, wide wheels mean more cargo and a 90 degree cargo available. Of course, you saw that LED light there. And as we continue to come around, of course, this design is big door, big style and shorter windows as the top is shorter so that you can easily reach up top to load any type of cargo. So I'm just standing here, not even having to stretch much to reach up top here. And of course you've got a panoramic roof. So pretty flat roof as well for all of those extracurriculars uh, or additional fun other than just driving it up and down the road. Speaking of that, let's uh, check under the hood. Here's the Skyactiv-G Turbo that we're well familiar with. It runs 5W30 oil. You have your uh, dipstick right there. Of course, windshield washer fluid and uh, a couple of coolant uh, reservoirs here because this has the 3,500 pound tow capacity. Of course, your computer control for that turbo and allowing it to uh, get the best fuel economy and usage of this air flowing back there. 
fuses up here, battery here, your um, brake fluid right there, and a lot of room. So it's kind of stretched out here, a lot of room compared to our other vehicles with the turbo. Um, but 227 horses, 256 with premium is definitely a lot of torque and a lot of fun with the horsepower. Uh, I think that's all we need to say about this other than hood props, which I love. Big wide hood makes it very convenient to do any type of checking or looking or washing, whatever the case may be underneath. So now we can check out the beautiful terracotta leather. Stepping inside, of course, we have the terracotta tie-in to the door cards here with the stitching and the cover here. This stitching uh, represents hiking laces, or supposed to. Then you do have a 10-way uh, power seat here with um, your lumbar and everything else, as well as your memory settings here, so two settings for that. And uh, again, this stitching right here to simulate a hiking boot or the laces on a hiking boot is perforated. We do have heated seats here and a dual HVAC control, leather wrapped steering wheel, which is very nice. And they carry those stitches across. Just the front door cards have this uh, finishing though, uh, or this treatment. Of course, right here we have our commander control knob, volume knob, MI drive modes. So you can toggle back and forth between normal sport and off-road, or of course towing if you have that uh, wiring harness. Gear shift knob here, cup holders up front, little extra storage right there. You see a DC connector right there. And uh, as we go up, you have your big infotainment screen. This is with wireless CarPlay, Android Auto. And of course you have a seven inch display right here. So all the goods you can see in a digital preview. And uh, under the console arms here, we have two USBs. And of course, the uh, add-on option for a um, nav card if you choose to do that. Wireless charger right here, which is kind of finicky on some of the later models of iPhones. So it just depends on what works well. Uh, actually, my wife's iPhone 15 was able to charge right there. It just uh, seemed to get too hot. Uh, of course, it was the middle of the day, and it is about 90 degrees these days. You also have more USBs back here. And... This also adds your um, auto dimming rear view mirror, hello there, with uh, these home link buttons. Of course, you also have nice LED lights, a nice taco holder for Taco Tuesday, which was yesterday. And um, I think that's about everything inside other than this turbos do have your eye stop. So you can push this button to disengage that, but it does default every time you start the vehicle. Then of course your safety ring of all your active safety, you can uh, mute those things or uh, leave them going. Uh, let's hop in the back seat. Setting this back, I know early on there was several people that didn't know about this and we're getting the seat belt caught right there. So they do have this latch here. So when you lower it and raise it, it keeps the seat belt locked in place. Uh, again, beautiful terracotta back here. You do have the same uh, cover on the armrest, but again, no door card treatments, which I think is a, you know, dress it up Mazda. We are near premium after all. And uh, you can see this kind of different design here, a uh, little bit of a trapezoidal look. And then you have a, a triangle here on this uh, rear window. Then of course, this design here is a little bit of a different shape. Looks great on the outside but kind of interesting when you figure how the window is going matched with this uh, door shape. Sliding on in, this seat's pretty far back, but I could still be somewhat comfortable here. And of course you have this dark material back here, this leatherette to uh, not show any dirt or anything from rubbing on items. There's those USBs that I mentioned and your rear air vents are right here as well. You also have this nice armrest, very wide two cup holders for your passengers here, or you could have three passengers uh, with the right seat belts and of course headrests for all. Also you see side airbags there, so you have that in the front and rear for your outboard passengers or the two passengers up front and uh, the two uh, on the outboard in the rear. And also you have curtain airbags all the way around. And then we didn't pull the screen back, but the big panoramic roof visibility, bringing the outside in and uh, one last look at the cockpit here, as it's very comfortable, very wide, so you have elbow and shoulder room uh, compared to the CX-30 and CX-5. And of course, 
a very grippy, is that what I called it on the last video, a grippy ride because of these wide um, stance and, and tires here. So uh, you can really feel the width of this car. Uh, let's do one more walk around here. If you have any more questions or comments on the CX-50 Turbo or any Mazda, you can always drop them down below or text me at 334-718-0504. I am Jonathan Sewell Sells at Mitchell Mazda on the Boulevard in Enterprise, Alabama. And this is the start to fun. And I can't wait to see you in your beautiful Mazda.